Studies show nearly half of you don't think natural supplements are worth buying. The Food and Drug Administration doesn't even regulate them. But a Southern Chair woman who could barely walk because of extreme pain decided to give natural supplements a try. As WETM 18 health reporter Allison Walker explains, the woman says she's now living pain-free for the first time in 30 years. I was in so much pain, took so many drugs, I'd get up in the morning, take a shower, fall asleep, drink my coffee. Belva Felker of Corning has lupus. That means for 30 years now, her immune system's been attacking her body's tissues. The disease has nearly destroyed her joints and has caused extreme fatigue. So I actually was on 13 different drugs for my lupus. Today, she's on none. Instead, she's taking this, a natural antioxidant supplement called OPC3. It's supposed to improve your circulation and fix your cells that oxygen has damaged. Just about three years ago, Belva says she would never think about just taking a leisurely stroll because she was in so much pain. Then she says just three days after taking the antioxidant, she noticed a big difference. I noticed right away I could walk up the steps, you know, normally. There is no synovial fluid is what's in your joints that keeps them, it's kind of like greasing a, an axle or something. And it just brought that back and it reduced the inflammation and it got all her blood flowing properly. Wellness consultant Deborah Coggin sells the supplements so right and says the page, there are so no not, risks yes. or How negative side effects. The powdery antioxidant is made up of all natural stuff like pine bark and wine and grape seed extracts. It's the most powerful antioxidant in the world. So I'm very skeptical. I really thought, well, it's probably not that. It's probably something else. So I quit taking the products. <laughs> then the pain came back again. Doctors say natural supplements <laughs> won't cure you or prevent a disease, but Flecker's no sold on it. I do not take any prescription drugs at this moment. In Corning, I'm WETM 18 health reporter, Allison Walker.